Now let us discuss about the differences between regular language and uh, context free language. Uh, so totally four differences are there. Let us see the first difference. The language which is generated by regular grammar is known as regular language. So regular language means the regular language is generated by regular grammar. Whereas context free language means context free language is generated by context free grammar. In short we can call it as CFG, context free grammar. So context free language is generated by context free grammar whereas regular language is generated by regular grammar. Uh, in both uh, regular and uh, regular grammar and context free grammar is represented by uh, four tables g is equal to b comma t comma p comma s both the grammars are represented by four tables where uh, b is a variable or called as non terminals also non terminals are represented by uppercase letters whereas t stands for terminal symbols terminals are nothing but lowercase letters or digits or we can use symbols plus minus dot left parenthesis right parenthesis likewise p means production rules uh, coming to the production rule, uh, there is a difference in uh, uh, regular and context free grammar. Uh, in regular grammar, uh, the production rules uh, are of the form A implies B, where A means a non terminal, whereas B means we have two types of regular grammar. First one is left linear grammar, second one is right linear grammar. In a left linear grammar, uh, the right the leftmost symbol is always a non-terminal. Whereas, let us assume that here the productions are of the form X implies Y. Left linear grammar means the leftmost symbol is always a non-terminal. Whereas, right linear grammar means the rightmost symbol is always a non-terminal. So, this is about regular grammar productions. Okay? In regular grammar, the productions are of the form X implies Y where x is a non-terminal, a single non-terminal, whereas y means, uh, uh, here we have two types of uh, regular grammar as are there. First one is left linear grammar, second one is right linear grammar. So left linear grammar means the leftmost symbol is a non-terminal, whereas right linear grammar means the rightmost symbol is always a non-terminal. So here the point is, in regular grammar, the right hand side production should contain only one non-terminal. It may be the leftmost, uh, leftmost one or rightmost one. Whereas coming to the context-free grammar, here also it is represented by four tables and the productions are in the form X implies Y, where X means a non-terminal, whereas Y means a combination of terminals and non-terminals. So we can have any number of terminals and non-terminals at the right-hand side. Whereas coming to the regular grammar, so maximum here we can have only one not terminal at the right hand side, okay. So this is the first difference and the second difference is regular language is accepted by finite automata. Finite automata means it may be either DFA, deterministic finite automata or non-deterministic finite automata. So regular languages are accepted by finite automata. Whereas context free language is accepted by pushed down automata. In short, we can call it as PDA. So this is the second difference. So uh, so here the regular language is accepted by finite automata, whereas the context-free language CFL is accepted by PDA, pushed over automata. Let us see the third difference. Regular languages are closed under union, concatenation, cleave, cleave closure, uh, and intersection and complementation. Okay. Regular languages are closed under five properties. They are union, concatenation, clean closure, complement, intersection. Various context-free languages are closed under union, concatenation and clean closure. Context-free languages are closed only under union, concatenation and clean closure. So that means context-free languages are not closed under intersection and complementation. Are not closed under intersection and complementation. Various regular languages are closed under these five properties. But context-free languages are closed under these two properties only. Context-free languages are not closed under these two. 
intersection and complementation. Now let us see the next point. Regular languages are used in sequential circuits and text editors. So we can use regular languages under these two. Various context-free languages are used in compiler. Okay, by designing the compiler, we use as the context-free languages. So these are the differences between regular languages and context-free languages.